What is a coordinate system? A set of axes used to locate an object. Usually defined at the reference location. Cartesian coordinates are three directions at right angles to each other. Usually the X, Y, and Z directions. What is a candela, CD? Unit of measurement of luminous intensity. What is the Schrödinger's equation? Equation of the wave function of a particle. Wave function is related to probability of finding particle at a specific location. How do antennas transmit and receive signals? Antennas for radio and television signals are used to either transmit or receive electromagnetic radio waves. Oscillating voltages produced by the transmitter cause the electrons in a metal wire or rod. The transmitting antenna, to oscillate, creating an oscillating electric field that in Turn creates an oscillating magnetic field that creates another oscillating electric field. The combined electric and magnetic wave moves away from the antenna at the speed of light. A receiving antenna is a metal rod, wire, or a loop. When an electromagnetic wave strikes the antenna it causes the electrons in the metal to oscillate. At the same frequency as that of the wave, the oscillating electrons produce a voltage in the receiver that eventually results in the sounds and slash or pictures produced by a radio or television. What is Kepler's third law? The square of the period of the planet is proportional to the cube of the radius of the orbit. How could you define your position on Earth? If you use a GPS device, you might find that your location is given as a latitude and longitude. For example it might give you latitude, 40 degrees 26 28.43 N and longitude 80 degrees 0034.49 W. Note that these are angles, not distances. The reference for latitude is Earth's equator. The reference for longitude is the prime meridian that runs through Greenwich, England, a suburb of London. What is mechanical advantage, Ma? Output force divided by the input force, output slash finput equals ma.
What is a standing wave? Two waves of same frequency moving in opposite directions. Produce a standing wave that appears to stand still. What is mass, M? A property of the object, the net force exerted on object divided by its acceleration, scalar. How are particles accelerated to very high energies? The two highest energy particle accelerators are the Tevatron at Fermilab, near Chicago, and the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN, European Organization for Nuclear Research, near Geneva, Switzerland. Both machines accelerate and store protons moving in circular paths in a metallic tube. Called the beam line, from which all but minute amounts of air have been evacuated. Beams of particles circulate through the tube in both the clockwise and counterclockwise direction. The beams intersect at several places around the circle so that the particles can collide head on. Many superconducting magnets bend the paths of the particles into the circle while other magnets focus the particles into small beams. Electric fields created. In high power vacuum tubes provide the accelerating forces on the particles. In particle accelerators energies are measured in electron volts, EV. 1 EV is the energy a particle obtains by being accelerated by a 1 volt potential difference. Modern accelerators give particles energies of hundreds of MeV. Mega electron volts, or GeV, billions of electron volts. The Tevatron creates collisions between protons and antiprotons, each giving an energy of almost 1. 000 GeV resulting in an energy of 2 GeV when the two beams collide. In the LHC both beams are protons. The design energy is 7 GeV in each beam for a total collision energy of 14 GeV. If you open your eyes underwater, can you see out of the water? Another example of total internal reflection can be seen when you are underwater. If you look straight up out of the water, you will see the sky and any other visible surroundings directly above the water. If, however, you look out of the water at an angle of 48 degrees or more from the vertical, you will not see out of the water, but instead we'll see a reflection from the bottom of the water. The next time you are in a pool or a lake, try looking up out of the water and you will see a point on the surface where you no longer can see out of the pool, for the light has reached its critical angle. What is a wave? A wave is a traveling disturbance that moves energy from 
one location to another without transferring matter. Oscillations in a medium or material create mechanical waves that propagate away from the location of the oscillation. For example, a pebble dropped into a pool of water creates vertical oscillations in the water. While the wave propagates outward horizontally along the surface of the water. How could you arrange the location of the pivot to make the mechanical advantage less than 1? Look closely at a pair of scissors. Note that you can adjust the mechanical advantage by moving the region of the scissors you are using to cut. Why are sunrises and sunsets often orange or red? During the evening and early morning, when the sun is lower in the horizon. The light that the sun emits has to travel through more of the atmosphere to reach us than it does during midday. When the path through the atmosphere is shorter. Since the distance through the atmosphere is much larger for sunlight in the morning and evening than during midday. More of the shorter wavelengths of light are scattered out of the direct light from the sun. Thus the sun's color goes from yellow to orange and finally to red. Dust and water vapor in the atmosphere enhance this effect, making sunsets even redder. How can you describe the motion of an object in a gravitational field? As long as the force exerted by a gravitational field, such as Earth's, is the only force on an object, then Newton's second law can be used in the form A equals F slash M inertial. But the force due to the field is given by F equals M gravitation alg. And, as has been tested by experiment and explained by Einstein's theory, Minertial equals M gravitational, so A equals G. There is one more thing to question. The acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. While the gravitational field strength is measured in newtons per kilogram. What are the sources and uses of energy in the United States? The tables below explain how much energy the United States uses per source and where the energy is used. The United States used 99.2 quads of energy in 2009, where each quad equals 1000 billion BTUs. Electrical generation, 39.97 quads, is very inefficient. Only 31.5% of the energy from the source, coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear, is transformed into electrical energy. The transportation industry is also wasteful in terms of energy. With 75% of the energy, mostly petroleum, it uses being wasted as heat.
What is a ramp? Example of an inclined plane ma equals four put slash fin put equals length of ramp slash height of ramp. What is active noise cancellation, ANC? Device that creates a waveform that is the opposite of the noise so that the noise is cancelled. What causes motion? Between 500 B. CE and 1600 CE there were many other ideas developed about the causes of motion. Some said a stone fell because of the weight of a stone. Supposing that weight is a property of the stone. Others, saying the apple is attracted to earth supposed, like Aristotle. 384 to 322 BCE, that there is a desire of an object to move toward Earth. Others suggested that force is something that is transferred from one object to another, as discussed above. Still others, starting with Leonardo da Vinci, 1452 to 1519 wrote that force was an external agent that exerted a push or a pull on a body. What is a hue? Related to the wavelength of a color. What is quantum chromodynamics, QCD? The theory that describes the interactions between quarks and gluons. What are the different frequencies of radio waves and microwaves that allow for communication? The table below shows the regions of the electromagnetic spectrum and their uses. The unit for frequency is hertz, hertz. Hertz is the name for the number of oscillations or cycles per second of a wave. The letters kilohertz mean 1000 hertz, megahertz a million hertz, and GHZ a thousand million or a billion hertz or cycles per second. How are radio telescope arrays used? A group of 27 radio telescopes, each 25 meters, 82 feet, in diameter. Spaced as much as 13 miles apart from each other in Socorro, New Mexico, is known as the Very Large Array, VLA. The signals from this group of radio telescopes are combined by a computer. Constructive and destructive interference between the signals allows the array to make very accurate measurements of the location and size of objects.
larger still are very long baseline interferometry radio telescopes. These radio telescopes are located around the world. Cables can't be used to combine the signals. So each telescope needs a very precise clock to determine the arrival time of the signals. Hydrogen masers, whose frequency is stable one part in a million billion, are used. Again, although the signal strength is small, the wide spacing increases the effectiveness of using. Interference to measure very fine details of the shape, size, and location of stars and galaxies. Why is it important to beware of excess electrostatic buildup when working with computer equipment? If you have ever installed a circuit board or card into a computer, the product probably was shipped in a static free bag. This bag is designed to keep all excess static charge outside the bag. Many electronic circuits are sensitive to the electrostatic buildup and can be damaged if such a charge accumulates on sections of the circuit. What is terminal velocity? Constant velocity attained by a falling object affected by drag in a gas or liquid. What is a parabola? path taken by an object acted upon by gravity that is given an initial horizontal velocity. What is a spectrum, absorption line? Continuous spectrum with dark gaps produced by a continuous spectrum source viewed through a cool, low-density gas. Was this animal electricity the same as static electricity? According to legend the Italian physician Luigi Galvani, 1737-1798, was making frog leg soup for his sick wife. Whenever a nearby static electricity machine created a spark the legs jerked. After completing several experiments, in a 1791 paper Galvani reported that when one metal touched the muscle of a frog's leg while another metal touched the nerve, the muscle contracted. Thus Galvani helped to show that there was a connection between static electricity and electric effects in animals. What is a nexred? Next generation weather radar relies on the Doppler effect to calculate the position and the velocity of precipitation.
Why are polarized glasses useful? Polarized glasses are useful when driving, sailing, skiing, or in any situation where unwanted glare is present. Glare is caused by light reflecting off a surface, such as water, a road, or snow. Such light is polarized. Navigating your way through some situations could be difficult without polarized sunglasses. Take, for example, light reflecting off the surface of a lake. The light polarized parallel to the water's surface is reflected with a greater intensity than that polarized perpendicular to the surface. So, sunglasses that pass vertically polarized light will reduce the glare from the water. How is the strength of an electrical force measured? British philosopher, theologian, and scientist Joseph Priestley, 1733-1804 suggested that the force caused by static electricity might depend on distance the same way gravity does. Using Priestley's idea, the French physicist Charles Coulomb, 1736-1806, made quantitative measurements of the force of attraction and repulsion between charged objects using an apparatus shown in the accompanying illustration. He found that the force depended on the charge of the two objects and the distance between them. The relationship he found is called Coulomb's law and the unit of measurement of charge as the Coulomb, c. How do you measure weight? If you stand on a scale, the scale measures the upward force of the scale on your feet. According to Newton's third law, that force is equal to the downward force of your feet on the scale. Actually, there is a slight difference because of the rotation of Earth. If you stand on a scale in an elevator, you'll see that your weight changes as the elevator accelerates. When it is going up and increases its speed, the scale will record a larger weight. The same will happen when you are going down and come to a stop. When it slows while going up or speeds up while going down the scale will show a smaller weight. Newton's second law can explain these changes using the fact that a net force is needed to accelerate you along with the elevator. Note that you don't really need a scale to sense these accelerations. You can feel them in your stomach. When were lenses first made? The word lens comes from the name of the lentil bean because of the similarity in shape of the bean and a converging lens. Lenses have been used for over 3,000 years. It's possible that ancient Assyrians used them as a burning glass to start fires. A burning glass is mentioned in a play by Aristophanes written in 424 BCE Roman emperors. Used corrective lenses and knew that glass globes filled with water were able to produce magnified images. 
Al Haytham Al Hazen, 965 1038 CE, wrote the first major textbook on optics. That was translated into Latin in the 12th century and influenced European scientists. Shortly thereafter, in the 1280s, eyeglasses were used in Italy. The use of diverging lenses to correct nearsightedness, myopia, was documented in 1451. Today, lenses used in eyeglasses and cameras are usually made of lightweight plastics that are cheaper and more durable than traditional glass lenses. What is the weak nuclear force? Cause of beta decay Weaker than strong nuclear force Shown to be an aspect of the electroweak force Carried by the massive W plus, W dash, and Z degree particles What is a fusion? Joining of two nuclei to form a more massive nucleus. In what ways do fluids move? When fluids move slowly they exhibit steady or laminar flow. When the speed increases the flow becomes turbulent. In some cases laminar flow is desired, in others turbulent flow is better. What were some early ideas about light? Does light travel at a finite speed or is it infinite? Is light emitted by the eye or does it travel to the eye? These questions were debated for centuries. In ancient Greece, Aristotle, 384 to 322 BCE argued that light is not a movement. Hero of Alexandria. 10 to 70 CE said it moves at infinite speed because you can see the stars. And sun immediately after you open your eyes. Empedocles, 490 to 430 BCE said it was something in motion, so it must move at a finite speed. Euclid, 325 to 265 BCE. And Ptolemy, 90 to 168 CE, said that if we are to see something light must be emitted by the eye. In 1021 Alhazen, Ibn Alhatham, did experiments that led him to support the argument. That light moves from an object into the eye and thus it must travel at a finite speed. At the same time Al-Biruni noted that the speed of light is much faster than the speed of sound. The Turkic astronomer Taki al-Din, 1521-1585, also argued that the speed of light was finite. And that its slower speed in denser objects explained refraction. He also developed a theory of color and correctly explained reflection. In the 1600s the German astronomer Johannes Kepler, 
1571-1630, and the French philosopher, mathematician, and physicist René Descartes, 1596-1650, argued that if the speed of light was not infinite, then the sun, moon, and earth wouldn't be in alignment in a lunar eclipse. Despite this misconception, Kepler, in his 1604 book, The Optical Part of Astronomy, essentially invented the field of optics. He described the inverse square law, the workings of a pinhole camera, and reflection by flat and concave mirrors. He also recognized the influence of the atmosphere on both eclipses and the apparent locations of stars. Vilibrid Snellius, 1580-1626, discovered the law of refraction, Snell's law, in 1621. Descartes used Snell's law to explain the formation of rainbows shortly thereafter. Christian Huygens, 1629-1695, wrote important books on optics and proposed the idea that light was a wave. Isaac Newton's 1642-1727, celebrated experiments using a prism to separate white light into its colors. Led to Newton's theory of colors published in 1672. He recognized that telescope lenses would cause colored images and invented the reflecting telescope using a concave mirror that would not have this fault. Newton believed that light was made up of very lightweight particles, or corpus cles. In 1665, a publication by Francesco Grimaldi, 1618-1663, described how light could be diffracted when passing through thin holes or slits or around boundaries. In 1803, Thomas Young's, 1773-1829, experiments with one and two slits demonstrated the diffraction and interference of light. Augustin Jean Fresnel, 1788-1827, and Simé Aon Poisson, 1781-1827, did both theoretical and experimental work that firmly established the wave theory of light in 1815 and 1818. Isaac Newton used a prism to separate white light into a spectrum, leading to the publication of his findings in his Theory of Colors, 1672. How do wind instruments like flutes, saxophones, and trumpets produce sounds? In wind instruments the column of air is the oscillating object. The musician must create the oscillation. Perhaps you have blown over the top of a soda bottle and created a tone. When you blow some of the air goes into the bottle. That increased air pressure is reflected off the bottom of the bottle and returns to the top where it deflects the blown air upward. This process repeats. Resulting in a tone whose frequency depends on the length of the bottle. The energy in your breath is converted into the energy of oscillation of the air in the bottle. A flute works in a similar way, where the player blows over a hole in the side of the flute. The other end of the flute is open. The sound wave is reflected because the imped ants in the tube is different from that of the room air. The spectrum of a flute contains all harmonics. 
if the player blows harder and changes the location of her. Top lip she can make the flute play one or two octaves higher. In other words, the fundamental frequency of the flute is increased by a factor of two or four. The frequency of a flute or other woodwind instrument can be changed by opening holes along the side of the instrument. This shortens the length of the oscillating air column, increasing the frequency. In a saxophone or clarinet the vibrations are caused by a thin piece of wood called the reed. The player blows through a gap between the reed and the instrument's mouthpiece. The pulse of air is reflected off the end of the instrument and returns to the reed. Pushing it open to admit another pulse of air. Double reed instruments like the oboe and bassoon work in the same way. The clarinet is shaped like a cylinder. Its spectrum consists of only the odd harmonics, 1, 3, 5, and 7 etc. A clarinet can be played in a higher register by opening a small hole near the mouthpiece that strongly reduces the amplitude of the fundamental tone. The new pitch is an octave and a fourth higher than the lower register. Saxophones are not shaped like cylinders, but like cones. As a result all harmonics are included in its spectrum. And opening the register key raises the instrument's pitch by one octave. In a bugle, trumpet, trombone, French horn. Or other brass instrument the oscillations are caused by the player's lips. The lips act as a valve, causing pulses of air into the instrument which causes the oscillations in the air column. In a brass instrument the fundamental tone is absent. By adjusting the tightness of the lips the player can cause the instrument to play at the second, third, fourth harmonic, etc. The valves on a brass instrument add small lengths of tubing, lowering the pitch. In a trombone the length of the tube can be varied continuously, allowing any frequency to be played. The spectrum of a brass instrument depends strongly on its pitch and loudness. The louder it is played, the more energy there is in the higher harmonics. Some synthesizers like this one use keyboards to select the sound to be generated while others use computers. The ability of a synthesizer to imitate various instruments is accomplished using frequency modulated synthesis to create voices. How does mass affect acceleration? The best way to find out is to have two toy cars. Then add some mass to one of them. For example, you could tape coins to the car. Then line them up side by side and use a pencil or ruler to apply the same force to both of them. Again, just give them a tap. What is instantaneous speed and how is it measured? If you reduce the time interval between measurements of position, both the distance moved and the time required are reduced. 
if the speed is constant, then the ratio of the two does not change. Instantaneous speed is defined as the limit of distance divided by time interval when the time interval is reduced to zero. In practice you can't reach the limit. But it is possible to measure positions every thousandths of a second. There are indirect methods of measuring instantaneous speed. For example, police use the Doppler shift, that will be discussed later in this book. That is, the change in frequency that occurs when the radio or light wave is reflected from a moving object. How was the plutonium bomb used? The plutonium bomb, named Fat Man for its shape, was dropped on the city of Nagasaki, Japan. On August 9, 1945. It contained 6.4 kilograms, 14 pounds, of plutonium-239. About 20% fissionide. And less than one gram was converted into energy with the equivalent of 21,000 tons of TNT. As many as 80,000 people were killed in the attack. How do the police use the Doppler effect in radar guns? The police use the Doppler effect when checking for speeding vehicles. A radar gun sends out radar waves at a particular frequency. As the radar wave hits a vehicle, the wave reflects back toward the radar gun at a different frequency. The frequency of the reflected wave depends upon the direction and speed of the vehicle. The faster the speed, the greater the frequency change. The radar gun determines the speed of the vehicle by measuring the difference between the emitted frequency and the reflected frequency and computing the speed from that measurement. What does it mean to measure your blood pressure? Blood pressure is the pressure your blood exerts on the walls of your arteries. The fluid dynamics of blood play a major role in blood pressure. The heart is the pump that moves the blood throughout the body. With vessels carrying the blood to different sections of the body. The device used to measure blood pressure is the sphygmomanometer. It is placed around the upper arm, inflated, and then deflated. While a meter measures the pressure passing through that section of the arm and either. A person using a stethoscope or an electronic sensor detects the pulse. What is a stimulated emission? Atom in excited state struck by photon with correct energy is stimulated. To emit another photon with same energy and drop to lower energy level. What is the little green wire or plate on the 3 to 2 adapter?
The green wire or metal tab attached to adapters is the grounding wire. Since the adapter is circumventing the ground prong, an alternate means of grounding is needed. If the screw on the outlet plate is grounded, the green wire on the adapter should be attached to it. This way, if there is an electrical short, the current can still flow through the grounding wire. If the screw is not grounded, then the adapter should not be used. An outlet tester that is available at most hardware stores can be used to make sure the screw is grounded. What are common methods of heating a home? Homes using forced air heat have a furnace that heats the air in it and a fan that blows the hot air into heating ducts that allow the hot air into the rooms. It rises and forces the colder air out of the room through return ducts, the entrance to which are usually near the floor. Hot water heat has pipes carrying hot water that have fins on them. The fins promote convection of air past the hot water pipe. This warmed air then circulates through the room. Electrical baseboard heat works in the same way. Electric resistance wiring in the floor or ceiling can warm the air in contact with these surfaces. Again creating convection currents. Convection is the movement of thermal energy through a fluid, such as liquid or gas. What is a quark? Particles that make up protons and neutrons and other short-lived particles. Fractionally charged, that is their charges are either two-thirds or one slash three the charge of the proton and are called up and down respectively. How do earbuds use the results of electromagnetism? An earbud contains a membrane made out of thin plastic. In the center of the membrane is a coil of wire called the voice coil. The coil fits in a cylindrical slot in a permanent magnet. The center rod of the magnet is one pole, the outside tube is the other. Resulting in a magnetic field perpendicular to the wire. When there is a current through the wire the Lorentz force on the wire pushes the membrane in and out. The membrane exerts forces on the air molecules producing the longitudinal waves constituting sound. Refer to the sound chapter for more information. What plays the role of force in rotation? You have had experiences that illustrate how torque works. Suppose you want to push open a door that rotates about its hinges. You know that the speed with which the door opens depends on how hard you push. It also depends on how far from the hinges you push the farther the faster. It also depends on the angle at which you push. 
Pushing at a right angle to the door is much more effective than pushing at a smaller or larger angle. If you push at a right angle, then torque equals the force times the distance from the axis of rotation. With nothing to technically push against in space, it seems odd that rockets could accelerate in space. The explanation is that the force of the combusting rocket fuel itself pushes the rocket, accelerating it forward. What are some of the largest reflecting telescopes? The larger a reflecting telescope, the more light it can gather. The following is a list of some of the largest reflecting telescopes in the world. How then does a one-way mirror work? First, the mirror isn't totally reflecting. It transmits half the light and reflects the other half. The second requirement has to do with lighting. It is imperative that the observation room remain dark, because if a lamp were turned on, some of that light would pass through into the interrogation room as well. What is the conservation of momentum? The momentum of the system is constant when external forces are zero. What is the Van Allen belt? Donut-shaped regions of charged particles around Earth. Created by charged electrons and protons from solar wind and cosmic rays trapped by Earth's magnetic field. What's a watt? Suppose you climb the stairs to the second floor. Whether you run or walk, because you have gone up the same distance. The increase in the gravitational field energy will be the same. The difference is the rate at which the energy has changed. The rate, the change in energy divided by the time taken is called power. Power is measured in the unit called the watt. 1 watt, W, is 1 joule, J, per second, S. A kilowatt is 1000 watts or 1000 joules per second. Scottish inventor James Watt came up with the term horsepower, which is equal to 746 watts. The amount of energy it takes an average horse to pull 33,000 pounds of coal one foot in one minute. Automobiles can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but the more powerful ones can do it. In 6 seconds or less while ones with less powerful engines may take more than 10 seconds. How close can an object be before it appears blurry?
there is a limit as to how close an object can be to the eye before the lens can no longer adjust its focus. Up to about 30 years of age. The closest an object can be focused is approximately 10 to 20 centimeters, 4 to 8 inches. As one grows older, the lens tends to stiffen and it becomes more difficult for the person to focus on close objects. In fact, by the time a person reaches the age of 70, their eyes cannot focus on objects within several meters of their eyes. As a result, most aging adults need reading glasses to focus on close objects. What is antimatter? In 1932 Carl Anderson, 1905-1991, was studying particles produced when cosmic rays struck lead sheets in a cloud chamber that was in a magnetic field. He found low-mass particles that curved the opposite direction from electrons, showing that they had positive charge. He later confirmed the existence of these particles by using a laboratory source of high-energy gamma rays. This positive electron was named the positron and was the first form of antimatter found. Anderson shared the 1936 Nobel Prize for his discovery. When a gamma ray with sufficient energy strikes matter it can produce an electron-positron pair. Energy is converted into particles with mass. The minimal amount of gamma ray energy needed is given by Einstein's famous equation. A gamma equals molectron 2 plus positron 2. The unchanged arc gamma produces a negatively charged electron and a positively charged positron, so electric charge is conserved. Positrons are also emitted in radioactive decay of isotopes that have a deficit of neutrons. For example, stable carbon exists as 12C or 13C, 6 protons and either 6 or 7 neutrons. As was discussed above, 14C decays by emitting an electron. One of the neutrons changes to a proton with the emission of the electron and antineutrino. On the other hand, 11C, with only 5 neutrons, is a positron emitter. One of the protons changes to a neutron with the emission of a positron and a neutrino. When a positron strikes matter the positron and an electron annihilate each other, producing two or three gammas. Particles with mass are converted to energy. What are beta particles? Electrons emitted at high energy by some radioactive nuclei. What is quantum mechanics? Study of atoms by themselves, as well as in molecules liquids, and solids in which the wave nature is important.
What is a spectrum and what are continuous and line spectra? Newton showed that when white light is passed through a prism it is split into a spectrum of all colors from violet through red. There were no gaps between the colors, so the spectrum is called continuous. The emission line of sodium has only two yellow lines. Hydrogen has four lines. The spectrum of iron on the other hand, has an extremely large number of lines. An absorption line spectrum occurs when the low-density gas absorbs distinct colors, leaving dark gaps in the otherwise continuous spectrum. For example, the spectrum that the German physicist Joseph von Fraunhofer 1787 to 1826, took of the spectrum of the Sun in 1814 showed 574 dark lines. In 1859 they were explained as being absorption lines from the cooler gases in the Sun's atmosphere. Fraunhofer made the best optical glass of any glassmaker of his era. He made great improvements to the achromatic lens, which refracts light of all colors the same amount. Like most glassmakers of his era, he died young. Most likely from the poisonous effects of the materials used to make the glass. What makes up the nucleus? Ernest Rutherford, 1871-1937, had determined that the charge on the alpha particle, actually the helium nucleus, was two proton charges, but its mass was four proton masses. Dmitry Mendeleev, 1834-1907, in building the periodic table, had arranged the elements in order of their mass and had arbitrarily assigned them sequential numbers that he called the atomic number. The English physicist Henry Moseley, 1887-1915, measured the wavelengths of X-rays emitted when metals were struck by other X-rays. He was able to provide a physical basis for the atomic number and in doing so, greatly strengthened the case for Rutherford's nuclear model. But, as is the case for helium, if the atomic number, and thus the nuclear charge, was about half the atomic mass number, what made up the additional mass of the nucleus? The first proposal was that the missing particle was a combination of a proton and an electron which would have the correct mass and charge. But the Heisenberg uncertainty principle showed that if an electron were confined to the size of a proton its energy would be larger than ever observed. In addition, by the late 1920s the angular momentum of the nitrogen nucleus with charge 7 and mass 14 had been measured. The result could not be obtained from a combination of 14 protons and 7 electrons. In 1931 two German physicists found that when energetic alpha particles struck light elements a very penetrating, neutral radiation was produced. The next year Marie Curie's daughter, Irene Joliot Curie, 1897-1956, and her husband, Frederick, found that if this radiation struck paraffin protons were ejected, 
suggesting that the radiation was actually a neutral particle with a mass near that of a proton. The next year James Chadwick, 1891-1974, working in Manchester, England, experimentally confirmed the suggestion. The particle was named a neutron, combining neutral with the ending of the word proton. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for his discovery in 1935. The neutron has a mass slightly larger than that of the proton. While neutrons are stable in non-radioactive nuclei. If they are free from the nucleus they decay with a half-life of about 10 minutes. Neutrons are used extensively in creating nuclear reactions and are necessary for nuclear fission. Which will be discussed later in this chapter. What does the fact that most galaxies are seen with a red shift mean to astronomers? The fact that astronomers observe most of the galaxies in the universe as having a red shift means that overall galaxies are moving away from our galaxy, the Milky Way. This can only be happening if the universe as a whole is expanding. The expansion of the universe led to the development of the Big Bang Theory of the universe's creation. What is a secondary rainbow? The secondary rainbow has its color spectrum reversed, is outside of the original rainbow, and is significantly dimmer than the primary rainbow. A secondary rainbow occurs because an additional reflection of the light takes place inside the water droplets. Instead of reflecting once in the water droplet, the light reflects twice inside the water, reversing the order of the colors. The secondary rainbow appears between the angles 50 degrees and 54 degrees. What is a light year? Distance that light travels in one year. 9.4605 x 1012 kilometers or about 6 trillion miles. When it is at its maximum height does it stop? At an instant in time it is indeed at rest. But it doesn't stay motionless for any time interval because the gravitational force keeps acting on it. What are dead spots in auditoriums? Poorly designed auditoriums can have dead spots. Dead spots are places where destructive interference occurs from the interaction of two or more sound waves. For example, a soloist on stage sends sound waves into the audience. Some of the waves hit the walls of the auditorium, while other waves travel directly to the listeners. 
In some situations, a direct wave can destructively interfere with a reflected wave so they cancel each other out at that particular location. As a result, the listeners seated in those particular seats would hear nothing from that soloist. Someone sitting a few seats over from the dead spot, however, might not experience the destructive interference and would hear the soloist just fine. Refer to the chapter on sound for handy answers dealing with acoustical engineering. What are some things you should do if caught in a lightning storm? The safest place to be during an electrical storm is inside a building. Where you should stay away from electrical appliances such as the phone and television, as well as all plumbing and radiators. Or car, but if you are unable to shield yourself in this way, the following precautions should be taken. Crouch down on the lowest section of the ground but do not let your hands touch the ground. If lightning strikes the ground, the charges spread out sideways and can still reach you. If only your feet are on the ground, especially if you're wearing rubber-soled shoes. This might limit the amount of charge that passes through your body. If you must lie down because of an injury, Try to roll up into a tight ball. Take off and move away from all metal objects unless they act as Faraday cages. Refer to the question about Faraday cages. Move away from isolated and tall trees. Avoid the tops of hills or mountains and open areas such as water and fields. If out on a lake or on the ocean, get back to shore as quickly as possible. If that is not practical, get down low in the boat and move away from any tall metal masts or antennas. What is a cubit? Quantum bit, the basic piece of information for a quantum computer. How did Dalton represent atoms? Dalton used pictographs to represent atoms. Below. In the first line, are some examples. Dalton would represent a chemical reaction. Carbon plus 2 oxygen to yield carbon dioxide, as shown on the second line below. What is a mirage? Mirages typically occur on hot summer days when surfaces such as sand, concrete, or asphalt are warm. Mirages look like pools of water on the ground. Along with an upside-down image of a building, vehicle, or tree in the distance. As one approaches a mirage, the puddle of water and the reflection seem to disappear. A mirage occurs because of a temperature difference between the air directly above the surface, which is hot and thus less dense, and the cooler, denser air a few meters above the surface. 
the denser air has a higher refractive index and that causes the light from an object to bend up toward the observer. As a result, the object is right side up while the refracted image is inverted and underneath the original object. The illusion of water is also a refracted image, the image of the sky. Mirages can only occur on hot surfaces and objects that are at relatively small angles in relation to the observer. Therefore, a person cannot see a mirage from an object that is just a few meters away. A mirage is not a hallucination, but instead a true and well-documented optical phenomenon. What is tensile strength? Maximum tension force that can be applied without breaking object. How do speeds of ocean waves vary? The speed of an ocean wave depends on the distance between two successive crests, its wavelength. The longer the wavelength, the faster the wave travels. A small surface wave, such as a ripple created by the wind, travels quite slowly because it has such a short wavelength. A swell, the larger, longer wavelength waves created by constant winds have longer wavelengths and travel at higher velocities. The energy that the wave carries depends on the square of the height of the wave. Which explains why high waves can cause so much damage to shorelines. Waves break as they approach a shoreline because the lower part of the wave moves more slowly than the top part of the wave due to increasing friction with the shallower ocean bottom. What is shear? Scissors, also known as shears. Use each of their blades to move the object it is attempting to cut in opposite directions. Thus they exert a shearing force on the object to be cut. Earthquakes often cause land and roads to experience significant shearing forces. Pictures of torn up roads after earthquakes show how one side of a street moved one way while the other side of the street moved in the opposite direction. Tearing up the pavement as the parts moved past one another. Who demonstrated that electromagnetic waves exist? Heinrich Hertz, 1857-1894, was a German physicist who was the first person to demonstrate that electromagnetic waves existed. He designed a transmitter and receiver that produced waves with a 4-meter wavelength. He used standing waves to measure their wavelength. He showed that they could be reflected, refracted, polarized, and could produce interference. It was Hertz's breakthroughs in electromagnetic waves that paved the way for the development of radio.
in 1930 Hz was honored by having the unit of frequency, which was cycles per second, replaced by the Hz, Hz. What is entropy? A measure of the dispersal of energy. The greater the energy is dispersed the larger the entropy. As a consequence of the second law of thermodynamics is that the entropy of the system and the environment can never decrease. What is a quad? Unit of energy used for measuring energy use by nations. One quad is 1000 billion BTUs. Where did Newton study? Newton was encouraged by his mother to become a farmer. But his uncle saw the talent Newton had for science and math and helped him enroll in Trinity College in Cambridge. Newton spent four years there but he returned to his hometown of Woolsthorpe to flee. The spread of the Black Plague in 1665 During the two years that he spent studying in Woolsthorpe, Newton made his most notable developments of calculus, gravitation, and optics. What conditions must be met in order to see a rainbow? There are two main conditions for witnessing a rainbow. The first is that the observer must be between the sun and the water droplets. The water droplets can either be rain, mist from a waterfall, or the spray of a garden hose. The second condition is that the angle between the sun, the water droplets, and the observer's eyes must be between 40 degrees and 42 degrees. Therefore, rainbows are most easily seen when the sun is close to the horizon so the rays striking the droplets are close to horizontal.